latitudes and longitudes. A and B are two points on latitude 40 degrees. The two points lie on the longitude 80 degrees west and 100 degrees east respectively. Taking pi to be 22 over 7 and radius to be 6370 kilometers, part A, calculate in kilometers, 1, the distance from A to B along the parallel of latitude, that is the remarks. Then part 2, the distance from A to B along the grid circle, for max, and then part B, two planes P and Q left A for B at 400 knots and 600 knots respectively. If P flew along the grid circle and Q along the parallel of latitude, which one arrived earlier and by how long? Give your answer to the nearest minute, three marks. So those are the questions, let's go to the first part. Now for the first part, uh, we shall begin by sketching the positions just to see the position of those places uh, these two points a and b so that is what i'll begin with so this is just uh, just a rough location of the of the point so we have the longitudes so I'm just sketching these. So this one, and this one to be 100 degrees to the east. And then we have these. These will be 80 degrees west. The points lie on latitude 40 degrees. It is not specified whether it is south or north. So just use any. We just use uh, north. So assuming they are to the north. So the two places, um, A will be there and B will be there. How do we get this distance along the parallel of latitude in kilometers? This is the formula. So distance AB will be given by theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r cosine of alpha when in this case theta is the longitude difference and then alpha is the latitude angle so we just need to substitute all these then you're given the radius and get the distance so therefore this distance is equals to so the distance therefore is equals to the longitude difference is how we get it so one place lies to the west and the other one to the east 100 degrees east and 80 degrees west so to get the longitude difference we add so this will be 80 plus 100 this will be 180 so that is uh theta so 180 degrees divided by 360 multiply by 2 by pi then by 63 70 cosine of the latitude angle which is 40 the latitude angle alpha they lie on the latitude 40 degrees so that is the latitude angle so that is how you're supposed to do that so the only thing that you need to do now is to use the calculator to work out this so 180 multiplied by 2 times 22 times 6370 that is the radius of the earth times cosine of 40 that will give 15,000 15,336.21 kilometers. So that is how you get the distance from A to B in kilometers. Part B. The distance from A to B along the grid circle. Along the grid circle. So how do we get the distance along the grid circle? We will get the distance along the grid circle by getting the distance through the center of the earth that will be 
here so i'll create the center of the other uh, this one being the equator t is zero degrees a straight line so the center is here and therefore i want to get i want to get these distance a b but now it is with reference from the center of the earth that is what is going to give us the distance along the grid circle so if i extract what we have there here and this is what you will have so you have to look like this so this is uh, a and this is b so since uh, these two places a and b are 40 degrees north of the equator north of the equator so this one big the equator so this angle 40 degrees both of them are 40 degrees the same that is on the same latitude so we will get the angle difference between them so this angle will be 100 degrees how do i get that you simply take 180 that is the sum of the angles along that straight line then subtract 40 plus 40 degrees that is what is going to give 100 degrees so once you've done that now you've got the angle at the center of the earth now you have this length a b this will be the length of that arc and how do you get the length of an arc by using this uh, formula now that is the distance so the distance so distance will be given by theta divided by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r that is how you get this distance a b it is the arc that length and um, since it is distance along the grid circle that is why we have calculated the angle between the two points with the reference from this uh, center of the earth so therefore theta the angle difference is um 100 degrees divided by 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 that is pi times the radius of the earth which is given as 6370 so work out this using a calculator so 100 times 22 times 2 times 6370 everything divided by 360 times 7 this will give 11,000 not 11,000 but 11 1,000 122.22 kilometers so that is the distance a b along the grid circle we go to the next part and the next part is here two planes p and q left a for b at 400 knots and 600 knots respectively if p flew along the grid circle and q along the prior of latitude which one arrived earlier and by how long give your answer to the nearest minute so we have two planes here and um, plane p so plane p to left a and it was uh, moving at a speed of 400 knots and this one flew along the great circle so given the speed of plane p and then it flew along the great circle now having the speed in knots we need because you are required to find which one arrived earlier therefore we need to calculate the time taken by plane p and q to move from point a to b so what do you need to calculate time for example uh, plane p what time did it use so for us to get time we require to have the speed and the distance so we use a uh, distance divided by the speed so what we don't have is the distance we have the speed for the plane p so it is 400 knots so what is that distance a b that plane p flew that is along the grid circle another thing you can see the speed is given in knots how do we get the speed in knots 
when we calculate it using the distance in nautical miles and time in hours. So we need to get that distance AB, distance AB in nautical miles. And this is distance along the grid circle. So how do we get the distance AB in nautical miles along the grid circle? This one is given by this formula, 60 multiplied by theta. That is how we get the distance AB along the grid circle in nautical miles, where, where theta will be the angle difference that we just obtained. When you are calculating the distance AB along the grid circle, we used this angle here, 100 degrees. And that is the same angle that you're going to use because we want the distance along the grid circle in nautical miles. So it will be the distance with the reference from the center of the earth. So that angle difference, we don't need to calculate it again. So that will be 100 degrees. So therefore, this distance will be given by 60 multiplied by theta, which is 100 degrees. And this will give 6,000 nautical miles. So that is the distance. After getting the distance, now we can get time taken. Time taken by plane by this plane P will be distance, which is 6,000 nautical miles, divided by the speed, which is 4,000, is 400 knots. And this one will give exactly 15 hours. So that is the time taken by plane P. We are through with that. Let's go to plane Plan Q. So plane Q flew along the parallel of latitude and the speed was 600 knots. And this one flew along the parallel of latitude. So again, we need to get the distance AB in nautical miles because you can see the speed is given in knots along the parallel of latitude. So how do you get this distance along the parallel of latitude in nautical mile? So this is the formula. So distance AB will be given by 60 multiplied by theta multiplied by cosine of the latitude angle. This time round, because this one is distance along the parallel of latitude, the longitude difference, the longitude difference, we get it by uh, because A is A is to that is 80 degrees west and B is 100 degrees east, so we get the longitude difference by simply taking 80 plus 100 degrees. So that one will give 180. Then the latitude angle will be 40 degrees. So we simply substitute these. We substitute these. And this is what you're going to get. So 60 multiplied by 180 multiplied by cosine of 40 degrees. So use a calculator to work out this. So this will give 82, 8273.28 nautical miles. So that is the distance AB. So now to get the time taken by plane Q, we will take the distance, which is um, 8273.28 nautical miles divided by, divided by, the speed, the speed is 600 knots, 600 knots, and this will give, get the time in hours, get 13.79, 13.79 hours. If we convert this, uh, 13.79, so that 0 0.79 times 60, we'll get this one to be 13 hours, get 13 hours and 47 minutes.
47 minutes. So I've simply converted this part. You convert that, that is uh, 0 0.79 times 60 into minutes. That is, I've got approximately 47 minutes. So that is the time taken by plane Q. So now we have the two times taken. So one, this is a plane P, took 15 hours. Then the other one took, this plane Q, took 13 hours, 47 minutes. So the question is, which one arrived earlier and by how long? The one that arrived earlier is the one that used the least time. And that is plain Q to use 13 hours, 47 minutes, where P used 15 hours. So and by how long? You simply need to subtract. So you just take 15 hours, subtract 13 hours and 47 minutes. And these will give uh, one hour, approximately one hour and uh, 13 minutes. One hour, 13 minutes. So it arrived earlier by one hour and 13 minutes. And that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you.